the city of Champion. Great presentation of Rock from Team Bianchi and the television show of Rock and Nitro is bringing you Lady Boxers basketball tonight. The Lady Boxers with a record of eight wins against one loss. Host Plymouth South will enter this game with a record of four wins and three losses. My name is Peter Zimbor, joined by my broadcast partner for the evening, Miss Jackie Jones. Jackie, glad to have you back here courtside at Staff Gymnasium for Lady Boxers basketball. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here. being JJ, does anyone refer to you as Double J? Um, now that I think of it, yes, um, at my camp that I go to in the summertime. I would like to start referring to you as Double J, Jackie please, Jones. Please don't. Why not? <laughs> I'm not too fond of that name. Why not? Because it sounds like a boy's name. Like oh, Double J, JJ, I like that. She hits her first free throw shot, one nothing, and the score looks made by Panthers on top. I've been to Plymouth many times in my life. I must admit to have never seen a Panthers logo. <laughs> That's a pretty lame name. There should be no <laughs> Panthers in Plymouth. <laughs> well, maybe both are Plymouth. Painted lies across the Plymouth Rock. Yeah. You ever go see Plymouth Rock? Um, no, actually I haven't. Don't go. It's the lamest tourist attraction in the history of the world. It's the rock. Since the old man of the mountain in New Hampshire fell off the mountain, it has been replaced by Plymouth Rock for just the lamest, most dull tourist attraction in the world. Let's go through the many steps of why Plymouth Rock is a very lame tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. In the worst of elementary school field trips for any kid in this area. One, oh, it's oh. simply a rock. You could go outside and see a rock just as impressive as Plymouth Rock. That's Christina. one. Christina. Two, it's not even the actual rock that the Plymouth Pilgrims landed on. And three, it's not even the spot where they landed on. It's a dumb tourist attraction. Cement. It's a random rock. They said, they're going to make this the rock for tourists to come. Silly. <laughs> Leah Brito inside the perimeter. Short jumper. No good. Rebounded by number 25, Christina Hiros for the Plymouth South Panthers. 1-0 is your score. Plymouth South on top. Five minutes and 46 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Do you think people in Plymouth take pride in the rock, or do you think they're even like, okay, enough with the rock? I think, yeah, I think they're like enough with that. They're tired I of think it. years ago they used to put the rock on a flatbed truck and it would parade down the street in the Thanksgiving Day Parade for the town of Plymouth, but it fell off the flatbed truck one day and split in half. Christina Harris down low for the layup, 3-0, Plymouth South on top. And since the rock fell off the flatbed truck, they were like, all right, let's just keep the rock in one place. <laughs> And now people are spray painting on the rock, which isn't cool, by the way. You shouldn't it's vandalize not, yeah. property, but at the same time, yeah. That's not okay at all. What do you think when you think of Plymouth, besides Pilgrim and Rocks and Thanksgiving? That's literally all I think about. They have, they have Mayflower. They have some nice features. Honestly, 
honestly, I, I don't think I've ever been to Bang Sing Ring. I just think that it's just old and there's people like rock in China. They're not even like skate, they're just like rock and dirt. Yeah, that's so much more intense. Like the actual town of Plymouth is modern. Yeah, Plymouth is like a regular town. That is number 23 for Brock and Jelani Jackson laying it up and in Brock controls by one now. 3-2 to score. Four minutes and 30 seconds left to go here in the opening quarter at Staff Gymnasium. What was the best field trip you went on in elementary school? Since we've already established that Plymouth Plantation is the worst trip, you never went. Go, no. I had to go like three times in elementary school. It's the same thing year in, year out. All right, they're going to turn butter. All right, there's a rock. All right, we get it. Uh, my favorite field trip I would have to say is Museum of Science. You know what was awesome about the Museum of Science? Every year you get a new movie at the Omni Theater. Really? It's always awesome. The Omni Theater is the best part of that experience. It's a laser show. Oh my gosh, yes it is. What am I thinking? Yes. No question. I really want my room to be like that. Like That would be the best thing. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I mean, if I have the money, I'll pay for it. Someday. Been in for Plymouth South. Plymouth South jumps out to a 5-2 lead with 3.48 left to go in the first quarter. And head coach April Dingwell for Brockton says, we're going to call a timeout and regroup. You're watching DCA Sports. Due to Zimbor Jackie Jones courtside. So I agree with you that the Museum of Science is the best field trip to go on in school. The Bingham Materials. Worst, I say, is the plantation. What do you think is the worst? Out of all the field trips I've been on? Yes. Um. It's been so long ago because Brockton High School, they don't really hold field trips like that. So. I went on a field trip to New York you now that I'm a teacher with my students one time. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, that ride home was just hell. I so wanted They weren't to sleeping or anything like that? No, we watched a movie. Uh, I don't remember what movie we watched. What's the movie? It's a musical where John Travolta plays like an overweight woman and Amanda Bynes is in it. What is that movie called? It's a musical. Is it like a British movie, kind of? Like no, also th the kid that was not Samantha Hudgens from oh High School Musical, isn't Zac it? Efron? Zac Efron. Okay. Yeah, she's getting thin. Too hot for you. left to go here in the opening quarter. Brockton trailing 5-2, to two. and right now we are going to see Jelani Jackson at the free throw line as she is fouled by Maddie Norris for Plymouth South. So that is Chuck Norris's niece who once made a cameo on Walker, Texas Rangers. Brockton now down by one. Chuck Norris also made reference to her in that movie he was in with Bruce Lee. Christina Hiro down low. She didn't bite on that at all. No. <laughs> Did you think I was telling the truth? About? About Miss Maddie Norris. Wait, sorry, what did you say about her again? I said that she's the niece of Chuck Norris. I believe you. All right, well, that, that, that's your first mistake. So I, don't don't believe, oh, I believe you. That's my first mistake. Oh. 
they still have reruns of that show, Walker, Texas Ranger, on TV? I haven't seen that in many years. I'm not sure. I don't watch that. Well, I haven't seen it. Three-point attempt for Brockton. No good. It's Maddie Norris with the rebound. I don't really watch TV like that. What is your favorite television show? My favorite television show right now has to be um, the Brockton Family Guy. Maddie Norris down low, 9-4 to four is your score. Plymouth South on top. It's what? The Braxton Family Values. Braxton Family Values. Is that like Tony Braxton singing family? Yeah, it's um, it's on UTV, and all his sisters are in it. So uh, what, what family values do the Braxton Family exhibit? Um, I need to think what they do. Um, they show their love for each other, obviously, and they show their love for singing. How old are Tony Braxton's sisters? Um, twelve. Are they younger than her, or did they reach like a midlife crisis no. and like our sister's <laughs> famous? Why aren't we? Let's just start a singing group. Tony is actually the older sister. Okay. And then there's um, Tawanda, she's forty, and then there's Tracy, and then there's Tamar. She's the youngest. So they just started singing like middle age, like. Yeah, Tamar's thirty-five. Wow. So she's doing really good for her age. Outside of Braxton Family Values, what other TV shows do you enjoy? Um, G Nation Civil Mall for three. No good. Rebound by Brockton off the glass in. And that is number 11, Tony Fairhurst. Fairhurst Family Values. <laughs> Nine to six, your score. Brockton trailing to the South. 105 left to go in the first quarter. Another show you like? Uh, another show that I, I like to watch is Love and Hip Hop, and that's on VH1. All right, that's another show I don't watch. <laughs> What's Love and Hip Hop about? Is that a dramatic show or is that a reality show? It's a reality show and it's dramatic, very dramatic. Yeah. Because they love each other, but they also love hip hop. Yep. And they must choose between the love and the hip hop, right? Right. I get the show right off the bat. What are they often? What are they more often not choose? Is it the hip hop or the love? More often, they choose the love. Really? I would say, yeah. I choose hip hop. Well, I mean, hip hop is bound to be better than a guy, but. Brockton within one, by the way, 35 seconds to go. I think the love is gonna. They'll get divorced someday and be like, why didn't I release that rap album? True, true. That's true. That was a travel if there ever was one, but Maddie Norris gets away with it. This is Chuck Norris's niece. She shoots a three, nails it. She's Chuck Norris's niece, no question. 12-8 is your score. From the south on top, 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. Brockton finding themselves in a bit of a more competitive outing early than maybe they expected. The JV team dominated from the south. Brockton trying to get within one three-pointer at the end of the first quarter, no go. Buzzer sounds, quarter ends. 12 to eight, your score, Plymouth South on top through one quarter of play. Love and hip hop like that movie, Love and Basketball, where they have to choose love and it's basketball. I, I guess you can say that, yeah. You could just put love in anything and yep. make a show about it. Mm -hmm. Like love and burritos. Someone must choose between love and burritos. Yes, love and Chipotle. <laughs> What shows do you like to watch? I'm not much of a TV show kind of guy. Um, I like watching reruns of Seinfeld. What's Seinfeld? You don't know what Seinfeld is. No. You've never heard of Seinfeld. I've never heard of it. I don't know about it. It's the number one sitcom in the history of television. How could you have never heard of it? Is it really? Or is it just... No, it absolutely is. Really? Yes. What is it about? It's about nothing. What? What do you mean it's about nothing? It's about nothing. Is it actually a show? It's a show and it's about nothing. I'm making none of this up. I don't believe you. You need to Wikipedia when you get home immediately Seinfeld. It will literally say Seinfeld is a show about nothing. I'll bet you a million dollars that I don't have that show title. <laughs> you never heard of Jerry Seinfeld? No. Jerry Springer. Do you like the TV show Jerry Springer? I do actually. It's a bit ratchet though. It's a 
guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah. I remember when Jerry Springer first hit his peak of popularity in the late 90s. They made to run the TV commercials for Jerry Springer Too Hot for TV. <laughs> I feel like everyone had that in VHS at one point. That's a travel. All right. That's what they call that. Do you don't know who Jerry Seinfeld is? I have no idea who that is. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to give you an assignment. YouTube a lot of Jerry Seinfeld and a lot of Seinfeld. Is he is he an older man now? He's a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. I guess he's probably in his fifties. Oh, that's interesting. Seinfeld was a popular sitcom throughout the nineties. And the reruns on like every night. On what channel? On TV thirty eight and on TBS. Okay. Are you gonna watch this? Sure. You need to. Okay, actually, you said TBS. But I haven't watched it, though. I've seen it, though. Are you on Twitter? No. Because I would remind you on Twitter the night <laughs> you watch it. <laughs> I'm not on Twitter. Why not? I don't feel like I need to be in it. Like, the world. This girl, right. Christina Hyros, is on fire down low from Plymouth South. 14 to 8, your score, Plymouth South on top. Continue why you must not be on Twitter. Well, I'm on social. I don't like the social. I don't want to. You don't like socializing. Well, I like socializing. I'm a very outgoing person. But a lot of like how much they drama like people in high school like they put on Twitter and like Really? Are you on the Instagram? Instagram? Not no, not so much. I'm on Instagram. I just like pictures and stuff. Catherine Lou is in the paint for Brockton. Fourteen ten from the south on top, six thirteen left to go in the first half. Inside the perimeter short jump from the south, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Boxes. That would be number fourteen, Nadia Montero. Facebook, you do that whole thing? No, nope, I do actually don't know. Wow, you do all of them. I read something today that 25%, uh, Facebook's usage amongst teenagers has gone down 25%. That's right. Because they're all like on the Tumblr and stuff now. Right. Yeah. And, and the Twitter Instagram and, and the Vine. Yeah. The Snapchat. Yep, I do have Snapchat. I think that Facebook is now for more networking, more than for using for socializing. Well, socializing is still that too, but hmm. it's not as much as it used to be when it first came out. 5.35 left to go in the first half. Okay, you're going to watch Seinfeld tonight? Um, I'm actually going to go to sleep tonight. I'm very tired. Okay, you're going to watch Seinfeld over the weekend next week? I will, I will. I mean, I'm going to demand you watch it. I was talking <laughs> to one of the crew members downstairs, Fernando. Mm -hmm. And uh, he watched the first episode of Seinfeld he ever saw last night, and he, he enjoyed it thoroughly. So. That's great. You friends with Fernando? Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. How'd you meet Fernando? I actually met him through um, through this video. <laughs> he's got a pretty sweet scarf on downstairs. I noticed. Yeah, he's, he's a very dresser. stylish guy. Yeah. He really is. He really is. Him too. Is that like? That about Fernando, they're like, wow, <laughs> Fernando's got style. I'm pretty sure they do. Brockton now within two, 14 to 12, 505 left to go in the first half. All this Fernando talk has inspired them. Fernando's a junior, you're a senior. He's going to be taking over the reins next year when he's a senior. What advice do you give Fernando? Um, don't, don't let the girls block you from what you're supposed to be doing. Stay like, what do you mean? Like Stay in the books. Important. Is Fernando a ladies' man? Is that what you're telling me? Um, actually, I'm not sure. Not sure? Mm -hmm. He's got some sure. style. I mean, he should be. I'm not sure. He's, I, Fernando, I think he's a junior. Or a sophomore. I think he's a, he's a junior. Mm -hmm. Brockton at the free throw line with an opportunity to tie the game. They're down by two, 14 to 12, 445. Here's number 24, Catherine Lewis. She will make the shot if you mention Fernando. I didn't mention Fernando <laughs> until the ball had already <laughs> left her hands. That is why she missed. Fernando inspires them. Let's try it one more time. Uh, I was talking to Fernando earlier, and he is going to see Richard Dawkins. See if he made it. Ball comes back to Fernando. Brockton within one, 14 to 13, 445 left to go here in the first half. 
Broxton has, oddly enough, not led at any point in this game, but they come in with a very impressive record of eight wins and one loss. I believe they'll get there. So, love and basketball. Jerry Springer, what else do you enjoy? I enjoy watching The Shareds on BET. The what? The Shareds. Never heard of it. It's the show with um, Kiki Sheridan, my favorite artist of all time, and um, her you told, you told us about her. She's a gospel artist, right? Yes. We talked about her in the last podcast. Um, it, it's her family and um, how they are preaching the gospel to people and living their life as a Christian family in today's, in today's society. some word via text message that Fernando is a ladies man is in the drama club. He's in the drama club. He's invited to a partake in drama competition. So you love the gospel music, huh? I love the gospel music. I sing it um, at my church. So does Fernando. He does? No. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that for a fact, but I doubt it. I talked to him about two minutes earlier, and I could gather he's down to the gospel. Brockton has taken the lead, by the way, 15-14, 4.23 left to go in the half. So uh, Fernando's wearing a pretty cool scarf downstairs. I have one scarf. I never worn a scarf before in my life, but I went to the greatest bar in Boston, and someone left their scarf there, so I took it, and I've worn it. And I must say that I never realized quite how comforting a scarf is. Scarf is actually warm and blue. Oh, it's so warm. Yeah. I love scarf. I never thought I'd be a scarf guy, but it's become one. You can just throw on a plain outfit or a plain dress and just add a scarf. And, and it, it makes it. it. Yeah. What are the songs that Tony Braxton has besides? My heart. It's number four, G Nation, Silver Moore inside the paint. Brockton now off by three, 17 to 14. Miss Norris lays it up. No good. Rebounded by Plymouth South. No good. Rebounded by Brockton. Brockton takes it down the outside of the court, but it's going to go out of bounds off Brockton. It'll be Plymouth South ball. Yeah, what else does Tony Braxton sing besides that Unbreak My Heart song? She, um, one of her old songs, I Love Me Some Him. I Love Me Some Him? Yes. Wow. I like that song. And um, one of her recent songs is. So Tony Braxton still releases new music. Yes, she um, recently did a uh, album, a joint album with Babyface, and it shows. I didn't know he was making music still. Yes, well, yeah, he's behind the scenes. He's a producer. He is. I think that Miss Norris got hit in the face inadvertently. Anyways, Catherine Lewis tries to steal it. She does, but just to lay it up. And uh, Miss Norris will take a breather as it did get in the face of Tony Fairhurst. Excuse me, it will be uh, Maddie Sheena coming into the game to replace her. Such a fun name to say, Sheena. Sheeshi. <laughs> What's your nickname if you have one? You've already said you don't like Double J. Um, well, my actual name is Jacqueline. I guess Jackie is my nickname. All right. What's your nickname if you have one? Uh, the guys at BT Jack call me Drizzle. Drizzle. Why Drizzle. do they call you Drizzle? Um, I was one time performing a freestyle rap. Okay. So, you know, any, any, any okay. variation of that, you know, Drizzy Drake, he stole that from me, actually. Oh, he did? He did. Stole, <laughs> my, stole all the stuff from me as well. So, 
apparently Fernando's not wearing a scarf. It's a chamaz. I don't even know what that is. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. We'll figure it out. 17 to 14, you score Brockton on top. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the first half. Catherine Lewis with the steal. Over to number 11, Tony Fairhurst off the glass, and Brockton leads by five the most they've led in this game, 2.30 to go in the first half. Starting off slow is really picking up their rhythm here, Miss Jackie Jones. I do always rock and roll to me. You sometimes have class in this very gymnasium. Do you like gym class? I actually don't have gym class this year because I took it my freshman and my sophomore year, and I do like good back and forth on my freshman and sophomore year. So I, I will be doing gym class this year as a shot putter. <laughs> a shot putter? Yes. What's your favorite activity to do in gym class here at Brockton High? Uh, when I had gym class, I, well, I used to play basketball, so basketball. I like basketball as well. Those games can get pretty intense, those tournaments that they yeah, have. Yeah, I love basketball. I used to play basketball in junior high, and I used to play um, in Rockford Community Basketball. Oh, yeah. yeah. I actually played with a couple of Rockford players on the team. Aaliyah Brito, Catherine Lewis, Tatiana Diaz, and Nadia. Tatiana Diaz and Aliyah Brito, were they fantastic basketball players back then? Absolutely. Tatiana Diaz started as a freshman on the varsity team when she went to Southeastern Regional before transferring to Brockton to play basketball over there. Basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. I like that movie. Like my I was referencing the Curtis Blow song. Bow Wow didn't steal that song from his movie, Like Mike. Brockton with the layup. Brockton up 23-14. Brockton has been on a tear here in the last of the first half as the ball hits our board. It hits our audio board and bounces off. You were praying. No, I was I wasn't paying attention. Well, you got to pay attention. You're going to get some stray ball. This ball hits you in the side of the head. It's going to be no joke. No, no joke. <laughs> Years ago, I got hit with a dime on the side of my head that someone threw from far away. It really oh, hurt. Yeah. Those things are small, but they're yes, metal, they and they hit yes. you in the temple. Oh, man. But yes, ow. Uh -huh. It's like that scene in Austin Powers. You're like, why'd you throw a dime, a shoe? That really hurt. <laughs> that really hurt. That really, really hurt. Lewis for three, no good, rebound by Brockton, off the glass and in. Brockton leads by 11, 25 to 14, less than a minute to go now in the first half. They're going at it tonight. That's for a fight. Brockton has stepped up the intensity here in the second quarter as opposed to the first. They unbox the country. <laughs> they will take no for an answer. Like an old man trying to come back to 
just in a deli. Seconds left to go here in the first half. They're counting down. Catherine Lewis with the ball. Lewis off the glass. And in. 27 16. The buzzer's going to sound very soon. The first half concludes. Brockton got off to a slow start, but now lead Plymouth South 27 16. You're watching DJ Sports Jackie. We're going to step aside for a quick break. Be back with second half action. You okay with that? Absolutely. All right. We'll see you then. Stay tuned. So, what do you like about your mentor? She's my superhero! And what exactly is her superpower? She has like all the time in the world for me. How much exactly is all the time in the world? Uh, like two hours a week? I want to live in your world because that's amazing. What about you? My mentor is so rich. I mean like, he took me to the Celtics game, um, um, he took me to the Science Museum, and uh, he took me to the KISS concert. Weren't all those tickets donated by the generous partners from the program? Yeah. So what you're telling me exactly is you don't have to be a superhero or have all the time in the world or be super rich to be a mentor? That's literally amazing. It's not complicated. Becoming a mentor allows you to support the youth through the good times and the bad but not every kid has that one-on-one -on -one mentor they are looking for. Other youth have a caring teacher who looks out for them in the classroom and even after the bell rings. Some youths have coaches that devote their time on and off the field. Becoming a mentor gives a young person the outside perspective and support that they deserve but may not have. Kids need an adult who's outside of the family who has different worldly experiences. Every youth has a voice waiting to be heard. Every boxer deserves to have a champion. Support your youth. Show them that, you, that the community cares. What I like about my mentor is that she has so much experience that she can help me with, and she just pushes me, and she's always confident, and I need that extra boost that can help me achieve whatever I want. It's important to have a mentor in your life because you need somebody to guide you when you don't feel like talking to your mother, father, friends, or anything. Sometimes you just need that push from the right person to get where you want to get or succeed. It's been really important from, in my experience to have a mentor because now I know what I want to do in my life. Being a mentor to Makilla and Bradley is helping them find a voice of their own in order to speak up for what they feel is right or wrong. A mentor is someone who leads by example. They also communicate hope and optimism to their mentee. Mentors provide an exceptional learning experience for their mentees and in doing so will expand their mentee's awareness, insight and perspective in life.
And we're back for second half action here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions with the Brockton Lady Boxers lead the Plymouth South Panthers by a score of 27 to 16 as we now enter the second half of play. Peter Zimmer and Jackie Jones courtside calling the action. A slow start for Brockton in the opening quarter, but they really came on strong towards the latter portion of the first half and now have an 11 point lead as we have just begun the second half of play. Three point attempt by Brockton, no good attempt to be rebounded by Plymouth South, off of Plymouth South, out of bounds, Brockton ball. April Dingwell, whatever she told her team during those series of timeouts, Jackie, must have worked. It must have, because they're on it right now. Head coach April Dingwell is a teacher at Brockton High School. Have you ever had her for any class? I've actually haven't had her for any classes. But I've heard she's really nice. Good to know. Yep. <laughs> Do you have classes with any of the girls on the team? Uh, no, I actually don't. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Tell us something about the personality of someone on the team who you know that we would not know had we not asked you this question. Aliyah Brito, for example. Tell us something about Aliyah Brito that we would not know had you not told us right now. Um, she's really funny. Aaliyah she's Brito is funny. She's funny. She's outgoing. Give me something humorous that Aaliyah Brito has done. Has done? Yes. Um. <laughs> uh. Jump ball called. But back to Aaliyah Brito Schumer. <laughs> um, I don't know. She's just funny in the hallways. Like, she's just a funny person. She's really nice. I mean, funny team. So she's just really nice. A nice person. Aaliyah Brito, number 35 for Brockton, is funny. You have no recollection of any one particular incident of anything humorous you've done, though? No, not off the top of my head. Hmm. Number 25, Christina Haros, the senior, excuse me, junior center for Plymouth South. She is playing fantastic for the Panthers. She's an awesome center. She is an awesome center. 29-18, Brockton inside the paint. Less than seven minutes to go now here in the third quarter. We've got a whistle, foul goes against Brockton. Number 12, Catherine Iannucci heads the free throw line for Plymouth South. That's a fun last name to say, Iannucci. So I did Google Kiki, your favorite singer, between now really? and last time I saw you. Yes. I listen to some Kiki on YouTube. Yeah, she's awesome. I love her song. So you have to, you know, watch the Seinfeld. That's how this is going to work. Okay. Yeah. I did that to you. You have to watch the Seinfeld for me. And we'll discuss so the next broadcast. Since you've seen Kiki, what does she look like? <laughs> you know, I saw, uh, I'm, I'm not making this up. Okay. I, I, I typed her name in, and it was like a still image in the song played okay. on YouTube. So like I, I didn't like watch video. It was just like it was the song, and it was a still image on the screen. Do you remember what song it was? I don't. Okay. <laughs> Nevertheless, I did, and I think I spelled her name wrong the first time too. What did you? I googled it and it was like, "Did you mean?" And I was like, "Oh yes." Oh, okay. So how do you spell Kiki? Kiki is K I K I. But I, her. See, I was a K E K E guy. K E. Oh, Kiki. 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 Okay, yeah. But I was wrong. But um, her real name is Kiara. My name was Kier. I'd want to be called Kiki too. Yeah, it's easier. Kier, I think that's just easier. Yeah. Six twenty-six left to go here in the third quarter. Timeouts called. Thirty-one nineteen. Brockton on top. <laughs> it appears that you are making some sort of beat on the table. What kind of beat were you making? Were you making a hip hop beat? Okay, like a groove in your head? Yeah, grinding beat. Favorite rapper? I'm not really a rap fan, but I would have to say. Hmm. Okay, I like I, no, I like Lil Wayne, and go. I love Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick, yeah, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, he insults everybody. That's cool. <laughs> Lil Wayne. 
I love Little Wayne. I just love him. He's honestly timeless. Lil Weezy. Weezy and Shaq. I remember the first time I heard Lil Wayne. When's the first time you heard him? He had a verse in that song, Back That Thing Up by Juvenile. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop, 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 drop. Drop it like it's hot. That, that was his part. Mm. And he says something I can't really know what he's saying, like bobbly, bobbly, whatever he says. Yeah, his voice is very sassy. Three-point attempt by Norwich. Yes! 33 to 22. Brockton up by 11. 6.05 left to go in the third quarter. Next time Brockton hits a shot, I want you to go, yes. Here we go. Giannisha Silva Moore dives for the ball. And we've got a timeout called by head coach April Dingwell. 5.53 left to go here in the third quarter. What feedback did you get from your first broadcast? where you discussed uh, your love of your teacher, Mr. Hogan, claiming that he was your favorite, then you rescind that favoritism and said he's not your favorite in the second half. Um, I actually don't think he's, he's, he's seen the, um, the basketball game. I'm going to call him this week and let him know. He doesn't know. <laughs> he needs to know. <laughs> um, but some other people, I think, they said I did a pretty good job in my first time. That's good. I'm glad they said that. Yeah. Channel 98, the educational access channel. Yes. What's TV classroom like lately? What have you been doing with Chris P? Um, I actually don't have Chris P in the class, but I go there on my free time. Like the day that I have off, so I just go there. Why do students like to come hang out with the TV teachers in their free time? I've noticed that. Yeah, she's really it's cool. It's just like you have a, a wide sheet cast of care. Mm -hmm. We're just really cool people, I guess, right? Right, right, right. TV studio. TV studio. Absolutely. You ever wonder why the blue building is called Azure and why the core is called the B building? Well, I think because on the passes it says gray, so green, red, Azure, and, and yellow. So that'd be better than. Gabra. Yeah, Gabra. So they wanted to have a vowel in there. They need that. That's there. a good theory. Yeah, that's right. And they are going to call a personal foul against Brockton's Catherine Lewis. And the crowd and the players for Brockton vehemently dispute the call. They were looking for a travel. Nice defensive play by Brockton. Giannisha Silva Moore with the ball for the Lady Boxers. For three. No good. Off Brockton. That was clearly off Brockton, but they're going to say it was off someone. into the second half yet. That's ridiculous. Crowd is into the game. They're going crazy. Paul call on the floor.
was the freezer line from Brock. And she hits it, she's going to go, yes. Yes. Cast the pose of the line. She'll be shooting two. <laughs> yes. Shot for Catherine Lewis. And. She'll get her next one. We've got a whistle. And that is going to go against from the south number five, Maddie Norris. 341 left to go in the third quarter. Brockton is 36 22. in the bonus with over 11 minutes to go in this game. The second half is going to take forever.
to Silvermore. No good. Crowd is kept in bounds by Brockton. Off Brockton, Plymouth South Ball. Plymouth has two high schools, Plymouth North and Plymouth South. There's no Plymouth East or Plymouth West, though. Six left to go here in the third quarter. ever beat Nadia Montero in basketball or would she always beat you? Uh, Tell us something about Nadia Montero that we would not know. Nadia, she's look, she's she's not funny, she's goofy. She does make a ton of stuff sometimes. Give us something goofy that Nadia Montero has done. But sometimes she just falls. <laughs> just really? Fall, yeah. So she's clumsy. Yeah. Timeout called by Plymouth South. A box 35 left to go in the third quarter. Brockton leads 36 to 27. We're talking about Nadia Montero's house. Tell us something cool about Nadia Montero's house. Her house? Um, she actually has a, it's like a movie theater in her town. Like she has a movie, movie theater? Well, it's house? not a movie theater. It's like, it's just a movie theater. It's like a chair. Wow. Yeah. Really cool. So she's like bleachers almost? Not bleachers. No, there's like, uh, not really. That's like green street. Yeah. The big red chair. She has a chair there. That's incredible. Comfortable? Yeah. What movies have you watched at Nadia Montero's house? I, I don't, I don't, I don't even watch movies anymore, but I go there for them. What's Nadia Montero's family like? They're really nice people. Inviting. Her mom, Renee, she's really always inviting. Always asking how I am. Shout out to Renee. Nadia she's Montero's actually mom. Here. Where is she? She's in the Red Sweater. Where is it? Where is she? The Red Sweater. She has the short black hair. She's got like the radio in the and the like white pink sweater with the tan. Renee. Mm -hmm. Renee is on the opposite side of us here at the court. She is talking to a woman who is wearing a pink jacket and a pink shirt, and the cameras want to get a shot of Renee, Nadia Montero's mom. The longest quarter ever. The referees keep stopping the game. We've got 12 fouls in one quarter. What time is it right now? Um, it's actually, well, it's 8.03. It's 8.03. That's ridiculous. You're a dumb boy. Third 
Dante Jackson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Walking up by 10, 38, 28. Aros lays it up. This next time Brocky scores, your line is going to be boom shakalaka. Jump ball call. Are you ready, Jackie, for your boom shakalaka moment? I'm ready. <laughs> say it to me once. Boom shakalaka. Sure, sure. Jelani Jacks with the ball to Giannisha Silvermore for three. In and out, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Boxes. Up, no good. This time rebounded by Plymouth South. 49 seconds to go here in the third. Rocket leads by 10, 38, 28. Brito. Boom shakalaka, yes. 40 to 28, rocking up by 12, 23 seconds to go. Fourth quarter begins, Brock moves 40 to 28. Jackie Jones has her phone. Are you taking video to put on YouTube? Yes. Who is exactly Snapchat? Who are you Snapchatting? Um, I'm going to put it on my story. On your what? On my story. Snapchat, you like add a whole bunch of Snapchats and then you just put it on your story and it comes up like a whole bunch of seconds. So um, people can watch them? Yeah. Like anyone? No, not anyone. Only my friends on Snapchat. Oh, what's that? Uh, what's that? Yeah, can I do a welcome to Jackie Jones Snapchat? Here we go. Welcome to Jackie Jones Snapchat. <laughs> Hello, y'all. <laughs> wow. We have a Snapchat moment here while on the air. Can I see it back? Can you hear it, you think? Yeah. How was that? Find interest your Snapchat. Hiros down low off the glass and in. Rocket still leads by 10, 42, 32. Seven minutes to go in the game. And Plymouth South had it going on in the first quarter, but midway through the second quarter on, Rocket has been in control and in charge of this game. I told you, Rockton always knows how to bring it. Just say that. Without home. Without Thank <laughs> you. 
time for a rapid fire question with Jackie Jones. I will ask you questions and you will answer as quickly and as best you can. But with the first album you have a preference. First album I have a preference is Oh, Kerry Hilson, um, Pretty Girl Rock. My name is Kerry. I'm so pretty. Something, 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 something. Looking yes, at my Jerry. Very different. It's a very good music video. First sporting event you ever attended? Sporting event I attended? I think it was a Celtics game, but I think I was 14 years old with my friend Cassie. Favorite flavor of Girl Scout cookies? Oh my gosh. Um, I would have to say Carmel's Delight. Peanut butter myself. Carmel's Delight has to be the best. Frozen, yes. I like them frozen. Oh, the chocolate mint cookie frozen. I like them frozen. Oh my gosh. Favorite fast food establishment? Burger King. Mm. How about yourself? I'm not a fast food guy. I mean, I've had a chicken taco bell for a little while. I'm not a fast food guy either. I like their cold drinks. Their what? Their cold drinks, their special. Silva Moore with a steal in the two on one situation. Out of bounds on Kyle Brockton down the line. Less than two minutes to go here in the game. Brockton leads 56 to 37.
was working on the truth tonight as far as the Brock and High School television club is concerned. We'd like to thank them for all their efforts. Who do we got working tonight? Jones for the BCA crew tonight. We got Mike Simmons doing a fine job. Aaron Thibault Thibault. Matthew Mad Dog Nelson and Paul Mandeville. Paul Mandeville, proprietor of Mandeville Locksmith. He's uh, helped me out many a times when I've locked my keys in my car. Oh, that's awesome. He's a good guy. Paul is a good guy. Mm -hmm. like once, maybe twice in a matter of three weeks when I did it, and I think he was getting a little frustrated. Three pointer by Plymouth South. It's less than 10 seconds to go in this game. That's gonna be it, folks. 63 to 42 is your score, and the buzzer is about to sound. Your final score, Brockton defeats Plymouth South by a score of 63 to 42. For everyone here at BC Sports and the Brockton High School TV Club, Linda Taglia for the Brockton High TV Club. My broadcast partner, Jackie Jones, I'm Peter Zimbor. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.